This video shows how to mount a Logix 3800 positioner to standard Valtec rotary valves. The standard rotary mounting applies to Valtec valve and actuator assemblies that do not have mounted volume tanks or hand wheels. Carefully size the holes in the spline lever with a number 38 drill bit and tap with a 440 tap. Fasten the spline lever adapter along with the stroke indicator plate to the spline lever using two 440 screws. Caution must be taken when tightening the screws to prevent binding or breaking. It is recommended to apply a bit of anti-seize compound to the screws. Insert the Allen head screw through the star washer and then through the takeoff arm. Add the second star washer and tighten the nut finger tight. Slide the takeoff arm onto the spline lever adapter shaft. Be careful not to slide it on too far, or it may contact the screws as it rotates. Lightly tighten the nut so the arm will hold position but can still rotate freely on the adapter. Rotate the arm so that it is horizontal. This is the position that the arm will be in when the valve is at 50% stroke. Next, rotate the arm about 45 degrees in the opposite direction that the valve will rotate upon opening or closing. For reference, the arm should be pointing approximately at one of the end cover bolts. Once the arm is adjusted appropriately, Tighten the nut. Attach the follower arm to the positioner shaft with the pin pointing away from the positioner. Install the M8 lock nut and tighten the nut with a half inch wrench. Attach the universal bracket to the actuator mounting pad using flat washers and 5 16 half inch long bolts. Leave the bolts slightly loose so that the bracket slides freely along the slotted holes in the bracket. Align the positioner onto the universal bracket using the hole pattern that will allow the positioner shaft and spline lever adapter to line up on center with each other. Install three 5 16 half inch long bolts and tighten the bolts with a half inch wrench. If the slotted hole pattern is used, a flat washer should be installed with the bolt. The positioner has a clutch mechanism that allows for rotation in either direction for easy adjustments. Rotate the follower arm so the pin will slide into the slot on the takeoff arm and allow the arm to move freely through the intended rotation travel upon the valve opening or closing. While holding the follower arm in position, Slide the universal bracket along the slotted holes until the pin is engaged approximately 1 16th of an inch into the slot in the takeoff arm. Adjust the bracket until the positioner shaft and spline lever adapter line up as close to centered as possible. When properly adjusted, tighten the bracket bolts. To install tubing to Valtec rotary actuators, output A always goes to the bottom port of the actuator, and output B always goes to the top. The Logix 3800 positioner can also be easily mounted to an existing valve and replace other Logix 3000 model positioners. First, remove the tubing and existing Logix positioner from the valve. Next, remove the follower arm assembly from the existing positioner. The follower arm assembly will be reinstalled later on the 3800. Install the follower arm assembly onto the shaft of the positioner and tighten with a 3 8 inch wrench. Loosen the two universal bracket bolts and slide the bracket away from the actuator.
Next, attach the positioner to the universal bracket. Rotate the follower arm so the pin will slide into the slot on the takeoff arm and slide into the position so the pin is engaged approximately 1 16th of an inch. Then tighten the two universal bracket bolts. New tubing will need to be bent and installed to accommodate the 3800. Once the positioner and tubing is securely installed, it will need to be calibrated. Refer to the video Logix 3800 Positioner Quick Calibration. If the calibration fails, it is likely that the travel range has exceeded the positioner's limits. In this instance, continue calibration attempts. Each calibration adjusts the acceptable limits and eventually passes the calibration.